There was a show on television last week called Wonder Woman, I which saw. was a well-done show. It was wonderful. They, they tried it about a year ago, and they kind of played it straight, and that's what was wrong, because it's really a, a campy type of thing. And it was well done, and a lot of laughs. And the young lady who played Wonder Woman in there is, a, is named Linda Carter. And she, we thought you might like to meet her here tonight. Would you welcome Linda Carter? <laughs> I would get your wrists up very quickly with this band. I saw the show the other night. Really, Did you? you were excellent in it. I saw the whole show. Oh, well, thank and you. And I thought it was well done, and it was fun, and everybody seemed to be having a great time, and that's what it needed. That's exactly right. We just, uh, <coughs> I think the way that they did it the, the previous time, they really didn't have fun with it. Yeah. They didn't do it and have fun, and all of us working with, uh, I mean, this was my first starring role. Is that your very first thing? My very first starring role. And I'd done two small parts before, day player parts, you know. Yeah. And I tested for it in the weeks and weeks and weeks of waiting for the phone call, you know, the yeah. phone call. When you test and, for it, what uh, do they do? They make you go in and read a scene and do some of the. Yeah, they're really action. awful because it's just a blank stage, and yeah. uh, I tested with. And the, all the people are sitting out in the audience <laughs> watching I, you, right? No, when you right? have to, when you have to test. Yes. No, no people no at people? all. No, it's just the director and six or seven other girls that are testing with you uh. which is really i mean that really gets you because it's it does get competitive and i don't like i don't yeah. like that that kind of competitiveness you were very good in it you Thank you, you. wore a strange little outfit not too much of an outfit but <laughs> not too much that's right a little kind of a red white and blue thing with your with magic stars. bracelets and you i like when you bang those two things ping. together ping ping i didn't bang them together how was that done it was done with um it was done with Buttons, pressing buttons on, oh. had wires coming up into my hands and ching, ching. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, are you going to do more of those? Is that going to become a, a regular type of thing, or what did they tell you? Well, um, <coughs> it really depends on the ratings, and the ratings were terrific, yeah. as I understand, and uh, so it's more waiting. Yeah. You just have to wait more. Is this what you wanted to do, to be in the entertainment business? Oh, yes, all really? my life. Really? All my Since life. Since you were a little girl? Since I was a little girl. Yeah. I started off singing and... Uh, and everything I could, and being in all the, the shows at school and all that. Yeah. Ever since I can remember, to watching the Dinosaur Chevy show. Mm -hmm. You remember uh, that? Do I? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I remember that, I, yes, <laughs> sure. But you were a little teeny girl then. I was then. a tiny girl, but I said, I want to do that. And so... Yeah. Well, how did it all come about? Well, um, You just don't come to Hollywood. It's every girl's dream to come out to Hollywood and audition, and all of a sudden you're doing a television show, and how did it happen? Well, I was originally Miss USA, and I... That's right, I forgot. That was yeah. 1973, 74? No, 1972. Right, and I was, uh, I moved out here to study acting while I was doing the tours and things, and then I uh, started doing a couple roles and got a chance to test and get, got the agent and all that stuff. Where are you from originally? Is Arizona? Arizona. Arizona? Phoenix, Scottsdale. You wanted them... Yay! Yeah. And you wanted the Miss USA contest. Mm-hmm. That was really strange because... Um, I was, uh, I had left the road, I was singing, and I'd left the road to uh, try my hand in Hollywood yeah. and came back a little disappointed. What and, were you disappointed uh, about? Well, because I had gone to some recording studios and the companies and things and they listened to my tapes and they, they were sort of ambivalent. Yeah. So um, anyway, I went home and I didn't have anything to do, so I entered a contest. Now, in one month, uh, I was Miss Phoenix, Miss Arizona, and Miss USA, all in one month. Like, the, before I was, like, Miss Nobody. Yeah. And then I won all those titles, and I was still Miss Nobody. Yeah. And nothing was happening after all that. Well, the beauty contest circuit is sort of a... Uh, it's not quite what it's cracked up to be. A lot be. of women call it a cattle call, and, of course, the, uh, the feminists say that it's degrading. No. And, and et cetera, and so forth, and it's nothing but a superficial... Not, not all that from your, from your standpoint. Well, uh, I had some exciting times. Yeah. Uh, and then there were some not so exciting times. I mean, the grocery stores, I opened a lot of grocery stores. And so oh, yeah, you have to go around, don't you, and make a certain yes. amount of public appearances? Yes. And most of them, believe it or not, were grocery stores because companies hire you. And I was working for a root beer company, and I sold frosty root beer in grocery stores with a banner on my crown. And I'm selling frosty root beer. So this is show business. Yeah. Well, it was a start. Look where, you, look where you wound up now. Oh, yeah, for sure. I'm yeah. grateful, and indirectly, it's responsible for my career. Yeah. yeah. You'd like to do, do this as a series uh, if it takes off? Oh, sure. I'd love it. I think it'd be wonderful. Yeah. Right. It's a fun kind of a Let me show. take a break. We'll come okay. back, and we'll find out some more about you. Great. All right? We'll be right back after this.
Linda Carter from Phoenix in Arizona and Charlie Callis and Orson Bean and so forth. You said you've also made it. Are you under contract now? Did somebody sign you? Right. I'm under contract until uh, to another network until uh, December 1st. Yeah. At which time, um, if they don't pick up the show, which may be a series, right. then I will be free to do other pilots and other projects and yeah. things. But I just completed a film uh, that Mark Lester directed and produced called yeah. uh, Desperado with Marjo Gortner. It yeah, wasn't the he the former evangelist? Right, the Marjo? evangelist. And it's a sort of a shoot 'em up cops and robbers thing, you yeah. know. Uh, and in the meantime, I'm uh, on unemployment. <laughs> I get finally. That finally wasn't that strange to do. You do a coast-to-coast -coast television show. Right. It's a two-hour-and-a-half show. Right. And, a star and you're on mark. unemployment. Well, see, the misconception <coughs> with, um, with someone starting out is that, like, my friends called me and said, God, what are you doing with all that money you're making? Like you just made a fortune. Right, and they don't understand that I'm still on unemployment. But I have gone up. I'm now making $90 a week instead of 27 now that I did a starring role. Well, oh, that's good. <laughs> Isn't that terrific? But, um, you know, it, it, people don't understand that when you're starting out, you're starting out like everyone else is. How did you envision Hollywood when you came out here? Did you, um, as you said, when you were a little girl, you wanted to be an editor. Did you fantasize it? Was it the way you thought it would be? Oh. Were, you, were you somewhat scared that uh, people would try to take advantage of you and say, uh, look, sweetheart, I'll get you a wonderful contract. Let's go out to dinner and talk about it. You know, you read all that. Oh, I've read it all, and I'm, I'm still scared of that. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it, anyway. <laughs> it's still not out of the realm of possibility. Those people do exist, but it, it really is changing. It is changing. I mean, fellas have said to you, why don't we talk it over at dinner? Or... Sure. Now, how do you handle that? I say, uh... How do you know whether it's for real or it's not for real? Well, it's usually not for real if they're asking you to dinner and over a drink. I, you know, if it's done in the office... A lot of business is conducted out here, you know, over a drink and dinner. Yeah, but if it's a... Well, you take a, a shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm really, I was really serious about it, because it is a hazard. Well, it's, it's a hazard that I've had to face, and I have to just go ahead with it. I, uh, I, I live with a psychiatrist, so that helps, you know. Uh, oh, that's interesting. Let's, yeah. Let's, here's an avenue I didn't know we were going to head down. You, 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 you're living with a psychiatrist? Well, yeah, uh, but so that, I mean, if you have a boyfriend or if you're with someone, you don't get into the same kind of problems as if you're single and unattached to someone. You know. Psychiatrist, though, is never good at handling his own problems or somebody that's close to him. Right, they they that's say true. We they can handle anybody else's problems, but when it comes close, they have to go for help too, right? That's true. He goes to his shrink uh, four times a week. He goes to his, <laughs> and he's a psychiatrist himself. That's right. <laughs> Do they, is it a freebie? I mean, if he goes, he no. does he have to pay, or are they both? No, he has to pay. It's it's uh, for his own growth, I guess. For his own. He has they say psychiatrists too. have to go through analysis, do they not, before they can become a psychiatrist? No, I don't think that's true. Really? I thought, I thought. No, I don't, I don't think so, but he does, because he has some problems. Me, for one. Yeah. What, what's what's the problem with you? <laughs> I don't think we ought to talk about. No, it. I like. You know, we, we we try to dig here. Rona Rona Barrett can't cover it all. Any <laughs> little thing we can dig out. I'm just teasing you. You know that. We'll take a break. We're coming right back. <laughs> 